from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Um, Lord Gor, uh, are you going to tell me what this battle was about? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. Orpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Gistil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Blackith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blackith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her. And so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. I'm waiting for Lazelle to say some more. Uh, was it you or Orpheus that Vlacketh wanted us to kill when she ordered us inside the prism? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Vlacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. Blacketh is eternal. My people would not be swayed by this... this false prince. Oh, well, there's her two cents. Well, I was wrong about him doing all this, trying to free the Elder Brain. That wasn't his motivation at all. Um, How did Gortosh and the other Chosen find out about the Astral Prism? A very good question. One that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. That Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already illithid. A sworn enemy, just like me.
The more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flayer. I appreciate that. But this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one... Wait, you can search for a new vessel? Grew on me. Can you just get into another body? my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic. And that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Uh, I've been trying to avoid becoming a Mind Flayer. I thought you agreed to protect me. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent Alithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle. I'll continue oh, the talents around the border of the brain, I bet. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. <laughs> what would that entail? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most <laughs> of the current form, and you will most. soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. We're gonna have more dangle dangles, chat. If you can evolve me, why can't you stop Ceramorphosis altogether? I can't talk. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. As I told you before, two, why would I? You have done well, the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Quick save. Do it. Scruff. Whatever this geek offers is no gift to you. You continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. Now, hold out your hand. Do as he says. Is that a worm? Is that a tadpole? It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Detect thoughts on the tadpole. Do I have any inspirations right now? I do. Wow! First try! The tadpole screams for growth with painful intensity. It has been starved of life, of purpose. It welcomes your probing like a void waiting to be filled. If you let it, it will evolve you, just as the Emperor said. <laughs> Eat it. Open your mind to the tadpole. veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. 
You heard the chosen. The brain has gone to the city. I want to see what this unlocks. to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. Half Illithid. You've embraced Seramorphosis and become half Illithid. You can now unlock more powerful psionics. Uh, I don't think my guy looks any different. Okay. Hello. Let's see. Sh once per short rest, invade a target's mine and disrupt its defenses. Their armor class is reduced by one. You have defended your sense of self, gaining expertise in persuasion, deception, and intimidation checks. Psionic Dominance, when an enemy within 18 meters targets you with a spell of a level lower than or equal to your proficiency bonus, you can use your reaction to nullify the spell. Oh my god. Counter spells with no cooldown? Black Hole, create a point of intensity gravity that pulls in all nearby enemies and possibly slows them. Five more Black Holes can be summoned after the spell's initial casting. Afterwards, you must short rest before casting it again. Uh, fly. Fly to a targeted position. Mind Blast. Spew forth a conical wave of psychic energy and possibly stun targets within. Sculpt a magical nexus that allows those within to take actions and bonus actions interchangeably. What? Free cast. You've discovered a marvelous adaptability within yourself. Spell slots, charges, and similar sort resources cost for your next action or spell are removed. Refreshes after a long or short rest. So you use this and you get one free ability. Absorb intellect, gobble up a foe's intellect, lowering their intelligence by one per turn and healing your wounds by five per turn. Short rest. Displacer beast shape. What? Transform into a displacer beast that can displace itself and enemies and has 85 hit points. You take on the attributes of a displacer beast but maintain your int, int wisdom, charisma scores. When you drop, just, okay, so it's just like a druid thing. Oh man. Displacer Beast say, Displacer Beast has blink, uh, it can like teleport, and it can summon clone like mirror image clones of itself. I don't know how good this is. That's pretty that looks pretty wild though. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep this. Alright, I'll get the counter spell thing and the black hole. Expertise on deception, intimidation, and persuasion. Um, hmm. Too many abilities now. Woo! Shall mind my step. Create illusory displacer beasts to attack nearby enemies for three turns. Teleport yourself and a target to a nearby location, shredding the target's mind and leaving behind a copy of yourself. Tentacle whip to 8 to 28 damage. 2d, 2d6 plus 4 bludgeoning and 2d6 piercing. Can I talk while I'm in this form? Oh, wait, I didn't have the party grouped up. Did they leave? I don't think they did. Oh, they did. Okay. Well, that ends not to day. I could really use uh, have you ever went into your Steam purchase history and counted up how much uh, you spent on Steam games? Mm, no, but I know in just giveaways for you guys last year, I spent a few thousand break. dollars. Oh, I can't talk while I'm like this. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, 
Hi, honey, I'm back. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gith visitor that Vlakith would destroy. It is Orpheus, the traitor prince, the Laxari. Uh, a mighty powerful prince if he can block out an illicit hive mind. And even more powerful still. It said he could bring a thousand Githyanki to their knees with one command. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our Gith slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. 157? That's a lot of Vlakiths. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is Gith's renegade spawn. A gay thrall who would return us to our slavers. He convinced his own mother's honor guard to join a coup against Vlakith One. He would have fed our empire to the Illithids had he succeeded. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the traitor's with us, controlled by that repugnant Illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would hand Vlakith's dominion to his Geich masters. The astral plane would be first to fall. The others would soon follow. Hmm. Orpheus wasn't killed, though. He was imprisoned. Can you trust your teachings? Entirely. Vlakith cast Sivim Hrathkrashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. This is the creed. I will not abandon all 10,000 protocols over one sovereign secret. What happens now? We find a way to enter the prism and slay Orpheus. He is a Geich puppet cloaked in Githyanki skin, and the most powerful mind master known to my people. One word from his scheming lips and the people would doubt. Two words and they would rage. Three words and they would bow to the false prince. Wow, your people are really weak. <laughs> the Githyanki would be slaves once more. And one by one, the planes would fall to the Geich. The spirits of the fallen be my witness. I will find the means of reaching the prince through his domed prison. And when I return to the astral prism, I will slay him in the name of the undying Queen Vlakith. Hmm. The Emperor's astral touch tadpole promises exceptional power. It also promises to break us beyond repair. This ossified parasite does not make us more, but less. Do you not feel the cold where once there was heat? The void where your soul once resided? Alright, hold on a sec. <laughs> Character select. Uh, I need you to come cast Guidance on me. Oh my god, where's Guidance? So that I can convince my girlfriend Hong Kong. to put worms in her brain. Standard stuff. Wingman coming through. Alright. This is, yeah, this is not a toxic relationship at all. Persuasion. It's not like that, Lazel. Except the Astral Touch Tadpole's power. You'll be unstoppable. Oh god, I have to beat an 18. I've got like friggin' brain ooze coming out of one ear, and I'm like, it's great. Join us. Join us. Galick. 
the Elder Brain. It could be the harbinger of the Grand Design and the doom of the Githyanki. The end time of the Sixteen Planes will be upon us, and the Astral will be the first to fall. Very well. I will accept what this damnable Geichrock has to offer. Vlakith Karsivim Hrath Krashet. And a Baba Boo to you too, honey. Alright, so... Vlakith will be done. Wait, what? Life pulses from whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, she gets a cutscene. I thought it would just like unlock the talent tree and that's it. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. <laughs> I don't want to know what eat it does. Open your mind to it. Coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has your eyeshadows running. Connected. <laughs> your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps, once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. Alright, so the main thing... What if we had the whole party able to do the counterspell thing, Chad? The main thing I want... Ah, uh, man, I'm out of worms. I need more worms. Or, you know, she's the shapeshifter. Could have her get Displacer Beast. Save I would love to have tons of people in the party with Psionic Backlash and uh, Psionic Dominance for the uh, anti-magic stuff, but... All right, our shapeshifter, our offensive shapeshifter can get Displacer Beast and also has Counterspell now. Uh, I'm out of worms, so I don't even need to worry about convincing the others right now. Have to keep going. Oh, the Githyanki that were here in camp that we ran past when we went into the portal all died somehow. Okay, um... Finally finishing the rest that we tried to start before Gith Yankee woke me up. Uh. Rudely. Okay. Now I have to remember, this is, it's an action, not a bonus action, because this is not a druid shapeshift, so her druid bonuses don't, don't apply to this. In fact, I don't know how many attacks she gets per turn with it, but we'll try it out. Um, well, well, all right, let's hold on. Get their gear fixed here. Let's get going. All right. So with that chat, I am going to quick save it here, and we will continue uh, tomorrow.